Hi guys and welcome to our second episode of Mokotla Mondays where we talk all things money, investments and everything in between. My name is Katie and today we'll be talking about a very interesting um, subject which is investing in the stock market as a beginner. You see, so you might might ask yourself like, um, what is the stock market, how you invest in that? Because I got a lot of text uh, and from my peers, from my mates asking me, um, how do you invest in the stock market and how does it work? You see, so I even have my notepad with me so that I can like um, I have a, th- a couple of definitions that I just want to read them out to you so that you can um, understand them better. You see, so I want us to start here. We'll start with stocks, basically shares of companies. You might wonder like what are those? You see, okay, a company has shareholders, all right, but then. A company at some point they decide to enlist the company from being a private company to being a public company by enlisting it in the stock market for example we have the GSC the Johannesburg Stock Exchange or the Johannesburg Securities Exchange we also have the New York Stock Exchange you see that's where companies who are private um, they go there and they enlist to be uh, publicly traded you see so there are a lot of reasons why companies they enlist in the public um in the stock um exchange you see and when they enlist we when they initially just we call it the ipo the initial public offering but then we'll get to that some other time as to what is the public uh, initial public offering and how does it work you see so i'm gonna start here i'm gonna talk about shares or stocks you see and we know that stocks are the shares that a company issues for the public in the stock exchange so that the public can have access to them is the shares a company issues and since it's listed in the stock exchange the public can have access to them and we have um, different types of stocks or different types of shares here I'm gonna start with um, this ones I made um, a list of the shares of the stock that I want to um, talk to you about and there are four four different kinds of shares you see or stocks firstly we have the growth stocks the growth stocks and let me just read down the definition of them so that you can understand it a bit better these are the shares you buy for growth rather than for dividends growth stocks are essentially shares in companies that are generating positive cash flow and who whose earnings are expected to grow at an above average um rate relative to capital gains you see when we sell stocks so basically when you buy um these stocks you don't buy them for dividends but you buy them for capital gains capital gains is when you when you sell those shares or those stock they um have increased in value so the capital gains is the money let's say okay let me put it like this you buy your stocks at uh, 100 rands when you sell your shares it's at um let's say 150 rand the capital gains it's 50 rand you see or uh, a specific percentage depending on the um the kind of growth stock that you have bought at that time you see so instead of, you don't buy them for dividends but you buy them for capital gains for growth they increase in value over time as the market fluctuates up and down you see and it's very very important that when you start you have at least one or two um stocks in your portfolio which are for growth not only for dividends you see okay and for example we have amazon amazon is one of the most um practical example and recently they just um no it's apple actually recently apple was um it reached three trillion market cap just recently and also amazon is just over two trillion in market cap so you don't buy those shares of Amazon for 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 um for dividends purposes, but for growth, you see, because their earnings and they have a, their earnings are high and they have a positive cash flow. Understand? And also we have what we call dividends stocks, or AKA we call them yielding shares. Yielding stocks ideally are those that perform well in the bull market. While providing a partial, um, they provide a, a partial um, downside. You see. So, 
when you buy these stocks for example um, I think Tesla if I'm not wrong yes Tesla when you buy those shares if you can check Tesla it doesn't necessarily have a positive cash flow but they are um, their dividends are high you see as compared to other most companies and in South Africa we have your companies like your 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 um, your APSA your MTN your Liberty Group your day-to-day -day, um, companies that you use actually you see so it's very important that you also when you're buying your stock when you are um, buying shares you buy growth and you also buy dividends dividend um, shares yielding you see yielding stocks because those ones usually they are bought by people who are looking for income they are for income mostly it's for income purposes but growth stock is for um long-term investment like you're thinking long term with them but as for dividends you are thinking how can i make income on a month um depending on when um they pay out their dividends it could be annual it could be times per year it could be quarter depending on um how the company sets it up you see so and also so when you're buying for when you're buying these stocks you're buying them for income and also look for companies um for stability of the company of the corporate no look for stability of the core business of the um stocks that you're buying the ones who when you're buying for um income purposes the yielding stocks which are for dividends look at the core um look at the stability of the core business what are they actually doing you see so we also have what we call um we also have new issues this one is a bit interesting new issues is not easy for um the public to get them at first like the ipo when they are just new when they are just recently issued you see so these ones they are also known as ipos ipos is like i said it's initial public offering it's when the company in this is of the that that period where the first time its name is on the stock market initial public offer and they do a bit of a celebration and stuff you see so this is where mostly the the shares are a bit um affordable but you know that over time shares they increase in value and they increase in um they increase in value and they increase in um they make you more money you see and also we have um okay like i said these shares they're not easy for the public but after a certain period they will list them and you can get them easily so so another thing is um here this ones this ones you call them the defensive stocks now this is a bit interesting so defensive stocks we just came from um the pandemic there are certain stocks they were not shaken they were not moved by the pandemic when most companies were going down if you have seen the nasdaq um index what it was doing during the pandemic like in the middle of the pandemic it was just going down you see but there are certain stocks during the pandemic it's like nothing was happening it's your fuel we saw what sasol did um i think it was i think june june or may mid may sasol shares they just went up like this also stocks in the healthcare stocks in the food and retail they were not moved during the pandemic so when you buy your shares you should include these four like these are the core four the first one is um the growth stocks the dividend stocks and i i highly advise um you buy also um what is this the defensive stocks you see because they will um hold your your portfolio and you might wonder hey tell how like which how which route do you go about so there's this um app it's called easy equities there are others but easy equities is the simplest so you go to you download the app on play store or apple store i think is it i store on i store yes also then you register it's like you create an account easy put your details there it's secure it's safe and their um, broker charges are low you see that is why i prefer it. easy equities 
also um yes easy equities and this is how personally i choose the stocks in my portfolio how i choose the stocks one the first time i started um buying stocks i choose the stocks of the companies that i use on a daily basis i use kp tech bank i have stocks of kp tech bank i use time bank time bank is owned by african rainbow capital it's there i buy stocks of that um i shop at pick and pay or shop right i look if it's there i buy the the, the, the shares of the you see if you have a medical aid or whatever go and look for the company that like look at the companies that you're using on a daily on a day-to-day -day basis start there that's how i choose my stock and i know that those companies the next coming 10 uh five years 10 years they're still gonna be there you see that's how i choose the stocks in my portfolio so guys um i think this is the end of our session today i don't really have any um suggestions on book but do this go to google and do a bit of research on the companies and also there's this app um investing.com and uh, no not investing.com it's called money web also get that app of money web it updates you on on the daily like on a daily basis on the news that are happening in the stock market the companies and everything also get that app when you get easy equities you see also um what is it am i forgetting something no i'm not forgetting anything also get the, that app is equities and money web i will try and link um for for i'll try and link and put some links below of where you can get the apps it's that simple but you need to learn to to read and also look at the market movement like take it easy you see don't just buy anything and the the, the beautiful thing about is equities is that you can buy stocks for as little as 10 rands, 5 rands, there are stocks which are like 10 rands, 5 rands, not less than 100 rands. You can start investing for as little as 100 rands on a month-to-month -month basis. And also, Easy Equities is owned by a company called the Purple Group. Buy the shares of Purple Group. And I've seen in the past couple of months, they've been performing very, very, very well. They've been making people quite a beautiful amount of money, you see. So, um... We are not done. I'm going to have an, another episode where I'll be talking about what we call um, indexes and ETFs. They are also in the stock market. So I'll make another episode where I'll be talking about those. You see. Also, um, thank you very much for watching. Um, see you on my next episode of Mokotla Mondays. And let's not forget yet Mokotla Mondays. The people is one. The language is one. And most importantly, the money is one. Thank you so much for watching. Um, don't forget to like, to comment, and subscribe. Do engage in us on also on my social media platform that I'll be linking in the description box. Thank you so much for watching. Peace.